What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more MD player props today over on Price Picks. If you guys are on Price Picks, check out the link in the description. I have a Patreon link down there, as well as a Price Picks link, 100% deposit match up to $100 when you guys use my code DUMG. Highly recommend joining. You guys can up to 10 times your money. And for example, again, you guys get a 100% deposit match. So if you guys deposit $50, they'll match it, give you guys another $50 in promo funds, $100 total to go ahead and play with. So join Prize Picks, link in the description. Patreon link also in the description if you guys are interested in some more research. Gonna try to keep the intro nice and short. But uh, here we go, man. So let's go ahead and take a look at two player props today. Going to be a really quick video. I'm also posting a collab play today over on my Twitter. So go ahead and check that out. DOMG props over on Twitter. I believe the link is in the description. If you guys are looking to follow me over there, you guys can go ahead and give me a follow. Again, doing a collab play with another creator over there. So go ahead and check that out. But anyways, I have the two player props for you guys today. And uh, plenty of others are posted on the Patreon and will be some more uh, hopefully later today. But Let's go ahead and talk about these, man. I have a hits allowed prop and an MLB live strikeout prop for you guys here. So first off, I'll start with my play of the day. It's going to be a hits allowed prop. This has a lot of value, I do believe. It's going to be Jordan Lyles here, over five hits allowed here versus the New York Yankees today, 705 today. Let's take a look more into this one. If you guys do take more of a look into this one, he is a plus 112 to go over five and a half, five and a half hits allowed um, according to the sports books, but he's 12, one and six this season. He has hit this in 12 games. He has missed this in one game and he's easy. And he has pushed this in six games this season. So a lot of, uh, you know, it's pretty damn good hit rate. We've only, he's only lost this prop one time this season and now faces one of the better offenses in the league in the Yankees for sure. So and in this season, he's faced the Yankees four times. He's had six, seven, five, and five. So he's never gone under this versus the Yankees this season. And again, this will be my play of the day. So six, seven five four six five five so you can just take a look at his game log here and how many hits he's been allowing but the only game he went under was against the twins here he actually pitched a pretty good game man i mean seven strikeouts four it's allowed here against the twins i'm not sure where that kind of came from from jordan Lyles, but uh yeah i'm really liking the spot for him man so uh let's go ahead though and take a look at the starting pitcher game log versus the yankees i do want to say also taylor your own risk look into these more on your own uh definitely do your own research for sure but uh wells had five against the yankees here uh, but then you have like Javier Garcia, Sale. None of these guys are, you know, on the same level as uh, Jordan Miles, but, uh, you know, they're a much higher level than uh, Jordan Miles. But also two hits, you know, and, you know, two outs for uh, Chris Sale because he ended up getting hurt in that game. But always Pavetta, seven hits. of Eovaldi, six hits. Minor, five hits. Ashcraft, seven hits. I love the spot here for Jordan Miles. A guy who was only missed this prop one time this season. Now as they go up against one of the better offenses, again, I'm loving the spot for Jordan Miles. Hits allowed. Uh, moving on, I'm going to go with an MLB Live strikeout prop here. We're going to go back to MLB Live. Uh, yesterday, we were 1-1 one one in the video, by the way. I should, I should have recapped, but uh, the play the play of the day did hit. Gosman got his strikeouts pretty easily, man. Four strikeouts in two innings. And then Charlie Morton just shit the bed yesterday. I don't know what his problem was, but he ended up hitting like his full game six and a half strikeout line. But uh, he just had one strikeout in the first two innings. So I don't know what was wrong with him. But anyways, I like Chris Bass here. Over one and a half strikeouts here in the first two innings here against the San Diego Padres. This is a prize picks exclusive. First two inning strikeouts. I like him to have two in the first two innings here against the Padres. So let's take a look into this one here. He is a plus 111 to go over five and a half full game strikeouts. He has hit this in eight out of his last 10 games. He is 13 for 17 this season. He's only missed this four times in seven games this season. I'm sorry, 17 games this season. Uh, the Padres ranked 22nd in K percentage versus right-handed pitchers, and he had three last matchup versus the Padres. Let's take a look into this here. You guys can see on the right side of the screen here, these strikeouts here, 3, 2, 2, 5, 1, 3, 3, 3. So the last time he went under was against Milwaukee on the 14th. He went under against the Cardinals there, the Cardinals there again, and then the Giants. So he's only he's really gone under against three teams this season, twice against the Cardinals. So I'm looking the spot a lot, though, for him here because, you know, he faced the, uh, pod, the Padres here on June 8th and had three strikeouts against them. We just need two this time around, man. We could get that done. I believe he is uh, he is at home, if I'm not incorrect, I believe, against the Padres here. Don't quote me on that. Um, no, he's actually, okay, he's on the road here against the Padres. But I'm not worried. He went over last time against the Padres um, on the roads with three. So not worried about that at all. I'm looking to spot a lot, though. This is how starting pitchers have been against the uh, Padres recently, by the way. So I'm sorry, he is at home. He is at home. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. He is at home. I'm not sure why I said he was away. But uh, 4 2 0 3 2 1 2 1 2 and 2. So only three of the last 10 pitchers have gone under this. Scherzer went over. He had four. Uh, you have Tyler Gilbert, who had zero. You have Chad Cool with one. Arena with one. And those are not strikeout pitchers at all. I mean, if you're facing these guys who have been. Redone had two. Alex Wood had two. These strikeout guys have been going over. 
Gomer, definitely capable. He had two. Freeland, two. Bumgarner had three. So that's how you know that this is, uh, you know, not too bad of a matchup. So I'm liking the spot a lot here. I'm feeling very, very good about today. I'm liking both of these spots a lot. Again, Lyles would be my play of the day. And best of luck today, boys. Seriously, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. I seriously would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let me know what uh, you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, just best of luck today. Tail to run risk. We can do this more on your own. Patreon link in the description. Prize picks link down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and join. But uh, that's going to do it. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys. Best of luck.